Alright, today we're taking on Launch Octopus. Um, his is the obligatory water level, and it's the fun little stage that we are going to rush through as quickly as we can with Storm Tornado. The downside of this is that this stage has an absurd mini boss to normal enemy ratio. There are four or five mini bosses, depending on how you want to count them. So, it gets kind of crazy. Also, I've noticed I'm short of heart tank because I had to uh, replay the game because I lost my progress. So, uh, please excuse that. These little seahorses are called Sea Attackers, which is the most uninspired name possible for such an enemy. But oh well. And here's mini boss number one. I normally start by using the Storm Tornado to knock off that little scope thing on top of him. Um, it's not really necessary. Having that out really just enables him to do like a little scan for you every now and then. And if he sees you, he pushes you backwards instead of sucking you in towards him. Which is really kind of worthless because you want to get away from him. So, whatever. And now uh, here's some cute little fishies that, oh my god! Um, they'll hurt you very slightly. They've got crash damage like that, but uh, <laughs> they're not really threatening. No, excuse me. No, this time I decided to leave that scope on to see if I couldn't coax him into showing off that attack I mentioned earlier. But I never really could. Um, this fight is obviously much harder because now the main threat is those stupid spikes. Man, it's uh, kind of hard to balance and attack because now he switches mainly to suck and blow mode. Um, which is unfortunate. So I'm leaving him alive to see if he won't do this attack, and at some point soon I get bored of doing this, and we knock his scope off. Or just kind of kill him. Whichever one's easier. And the worst part is, the halfway point on this level, I believe, is right before him. So, if you die later on, you get to fight him all over again. Well, what can you do? Now these little vortices do the opposite of what normal vortices do and shoot you upwards, which is convenient. And here is random torpedo ship, which we can just take down with fire wave. It totally disarms it. All you gotta do is watch out for those torpedoes. Those torpedoes are invincible, so there's not much you can do about them otherwise. Now we come to mini boss number four-ish. Um, who is Utuberos, I believe, and who is really easy with Storm Tornado. Um, although he makes that odd sound effect, which isn't present on the Super Nintendo. And that's really unfortunate. Come on now. That's the worst part about this fight. <laughs> it's, he drops all his power-ups on the spikes. And now that we have this level's heart container, we can... heart container, heart tank. Um, move on through some more vortices to... Surprise! Another Uchuboros. Who you have to kind of coax him into coming out. He'll come out of the ground and forecast it like that. Now you can hit him either on his head or his tail. Both are equally effective, but if you do it like I've been doing, where you kind of jump on him and let him run into your storm tornado, you can normally take him down in about one shot of it, which is really handy. By the way, I have no idea what's supposed to be going on in the background here. Is this like oil mining in Atlantis or something? I don't know. And here we have a couple more fishes. Are they storing lava? Why would you store lava? Energy? Geothermal energy? I don't know. This place is weird. Anyway, now we have Launch Octopus, who has the most badass opening taunt of any Robot Master Maverick in Mega Man history. You ready for it? He's going to take you down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, his attack is the homing torpedo. The only way to deal with that really is to shoot it. He also has apparently a storm tornado, which I could have sworn was somebody else's power. But, um, yeah, you just want to shoot these torpedoes. They're hard to dodge. That's the charged up form of that, of a homing torpedo. If you're trying to get through this without taking a hit, using his weakness, the rolling shield, is not the way to go. Um, because it's harder to both destroy the torpedoes and hit him. 
So if you're trying to get through it without a hit, you want to use the X Buster. If you just want to get through it, you can use my favorite strategy, which is kill him before he kills you. Um, as we'll see later on, there's actually a way to uh, disarm him, so to speak, that makes him a bit easier, but he's not too bad. And with Launch Octopus out of the way, we can claim his weapon, the Homing Torpedo, which, while weak, is pretty handy, maybe. Look at that, X is totally Russian. As you can see, he was going through that stage pretty fast anyway. So, that's all for today. Join me next time. Take on Boomer Kuwanger. See y'all then.